It's a grey and gloomy day, guys. But do you know what'll cheer me up? A good old takeaway with you. Oh, oh yes. You know what I'm talking about. Right. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show at Mandingo's and thank you for joining me on another foodie Friday night video. Me and Mrs Blot and little Blot were currently away on a little four night break in a cottage in Cumbria. We're staying just outside of Egremont so we're looking at doing a takeaway review in the little town of Egremont. We don't know where we're going to go yet. I'm going to go down now into the main street and I'm probably going to ask a couple of locals what them think i'll let them tell me which is the best takeaway in town and that's where we'll go i i'm out by myself at the minute i've just came out to stretch my legs get a little bit of footage for this video while mrs blot sits with her feet up in front of the log fire <laughs> you better believe it guys i so i'm going to head back up to the cottage in a minute and then when i bring you legends back me and mrs blot and little blot will be making our way into a takeaway to get some food ordered. Oh, oh yes, you better believe it guys. I'll bring your legends back in a couple of secondas. Right. Oh. <laughs> Sell us your breath, Dennis. Okay, then, Mandingos. We've just parked up just along from the pizza shop that we're going to go to, the kebab shop. 
just there guys and it's called Istanbul when I was walking around earlier on getting a bit of footage for this video I got talking to a guy in the street who recognised us and um, yeah I stood and talked to him for about five minutes and I asked him which is the best takeaway in town he said this is the one he likes to go to he says it's always nice and then I went in the co-op to get some logs for the fire and I asked the lady on the counter and she said the same thing, Istanbul. So two people I asked and they both said, this is the place they enjoy. So if it's good enough for them guys, it's good enough for us. You better believe it is. Mrs. Blot's already just popped in there and getting a menu just to give us a head start. So what we're fancying Mrs. Blot? There's a special on there for 25 pound. Kebab, any kebab, any pizza, chips and cans of pop. Chips, coleslaw, two cans of pop, garlic bread as well. So that sounds like a good deal. 25 squidlies. So my son says he wants the meat feast pizza. And me and Mrs. Blood are going to get the house special kebab. That should be nice. Is there anything else we're going to order as well to go with it? I think we'll get something hot for you. I think we'll go for the loaded fries. Spicy bolognese Ooh. and jalapenos. That sounds nice. Loaded fries, cheese, onions, spicy bolognese and jalapenos. Jalapenos. It's jalapenos. And jalapenos, what? jalapenos. Right. You better believe it. Okay then guys, we're going to make our way in in a couple of minutes. And as we're going in, as usual, we'll point the camera down because people don't like to be recorded when you haven't got permission. Bring you back in a minute. Mice. Here we go guys, we're just making our way to Istanbul. A pizza shop, a kebab shop, whatever you want to call it. Right in the main street of Egremont. I'm gonna put the camera down now guys. Right. So that's the food ordered guys yes we've got that meal deal where you get loads of different stuff and we've also got the loaded fries which has took the price to 32 pound we've got the loaded fries and a tub of chili sauce so yeah 32 pound it's not the cheapest takeaway i've ever ordered but apparently it's really nice and if it's nice it's worth it you know what i'm talking about okay then i'm going to go back down because the lady says it's only going to be about 15 minutes <laughs> cop car went past there and the cop van wondering what I'm doing <laughs> probably haven't seen someone holding a camera around here it's like stepping back in time I'm only joking right guys bring it back in a second Mrs. Blot with a sexy bot <laughs> Thank you. Oh yes guys. 
we've got the food now let's get your words out Chris start again we've got the food <laughs> now let's make our way back to the cottage and we're going to, we're going to eat good because I'm hand Marvin <laughs> can I get my words out come on we're going to do some munching glad back that's what I'm trying to say guys and stay tuned because after we've had the food we're going to do the draw for the merch prizes and obviously we're going to do a world famous wasky with you you know it makes total sense right guys let's have a quick look and see what we've got here garlic bread looks a bit well done but that doesn't bother me I would rather have it overdone than underdone as they say in the do dye be nice when it's dipped in the chilli or the garlic 12 inch mid faced oh that looks and smells absolutely delicious that's for me soon but I'll pinch a slice we've got chips oh yes look at that bad boy how special kebab so that means this has to be a load of fries oh yes them look tremendous I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that that's just the cans of pop garlic sauce chili sauce happy dingoes right. oh, oh yes man dingoes time to get stuck right into this lovely looking food from Istanbul in Egremont right Mrs Blood where do you want to start well the dodgiest looking thing there is the garlic bread it looked a bit on the well done side so I'll try that nice bit of chili sauce there with that mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that at all it's just standard garlic bread nothing special you know it's probably the most basic thing isn't it to get off a menu from a pizza shop it looks like you put your windows out but it's quite soft isn't it mm -hmm. not bad at all well i'm now going to try some meat faced pizza mm. now that is very nice indeed guys big garlic on that oh yes mm -hmm. one thing's missing chips yeah somebody put your chips inside bang a few chips in a few loaded fries oh yes guys look at that a thing of beauty Mm. Nice. Very nice. And that chili sauce is perfect. Just the way I like it. I'm going to try some of these. Good start so far, guys. Very good start. You want some of these? Mm -hmm. Pile it on, Mrs. Blot. Pile it on. Ah. oh yes <laughs> look at that guys loaded fries cheese onions spicy bolognese jalapenos not jalapenos 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 let's give these loaded fries a go guys get her on there oh yes look at that Ooh. Mmm. Oh, just an explosion of flavours in the old mouth dingo. Man dingoes. Oh. Nice, just too hot for me. Oh. Very, very nice indeed. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, get some of them on there. You know the score, guys. That makes sense. Mmm. 
this is the way to do it. No pussy putting around. <clears throat> no pussy putting around. around. <laughs> They're more spicy. No, no. Mm-hmm. Do you know what it is? The really spicy, and I hate spicy food, but it's that nice. I so tasty. Mm. Even if you don't like spicy food, you will still want to give these a try. Mm. Mm. Magic. Mm. Absolutely magic. Mm. Well, I'll have a few more. And then we'll try some of the special mixed kebab. Yes. Well, you have some more. I'm going to get stuck into this. Why not? You know, it makes sense. Mm. Spot on. Hey, salad dodger. Where's the salad? Mm -hmm. Where is it? You must not give us it. No, well, it's in there. Aye. Let's see. I'm not bothered about the salad, guys. I'm a salad dodger. Obviously. A bit of both. But yeah, it's nice to have a bit of salad when you're making a, a kebab wrap. Get that stuck in. Oh yes. Mm. Them loaded fries are up there with the best ones I've ever had. Right, I'm going to save them for later and I'm going to make a nice little chicken in pita bread. Oh, I've made, I'm making an arsehole of this. <laughs> Who cares? No. Just get Don't worry in. about the mess. You've just got to get stuck in Mrs. Blot. Some nice pieces of chicken there. Get them in there. Right. It's salad. Even though it makes sense, get that chilli on there. The garlic as well. Oh. Very sloppy. Good old sloppy seconds. Oh, matron. <laughs> yes. Look at that, guys. That kebab meat's beautiful, isn't it? Mmm. <laughs> I'm speechless. It's that nice, guys. Really, really enjoying it. How's yours, Mrs. Blood? Lovely. Mm. Tremendous. Probably a bit too much sauce in there. And once again, I've got no napkins. You got one there. <laughs> I'll come prepared, you never do. We'll share it. Mmm. Mmm. Thanks to you guys. It wasn't the cheapest takeaway we've ordered on the Brock Outdoor Show. £32. We're away, we're away on our holidays. We've treated ourselves to something nice. Mm. That's chicken. It's cooked to perfection. I'll soon tell you. Absolutely lovely jubbly. We did want to do a review on a one star or a zero star, even a two star takeaway if we could find one. I've got an app on my phone that locates the low star takeaways and I couldn't find anywhere in the area. So I thought, well, what the hell? We'll get something nice. Push the board out. Yes, it's better than not having a video at all. Hmm. I know you guys like to watch us suffer and eat the low star stuff, but it's nice to have a treat now and again. Back on the low star stuff next week, guys. You better believe it. That chicken's nice, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. like marinated in some sauce. 
the way I like it. The chicken is absolutely perfect. Nice thick chunks, cooked all the way through, and cooked spot on. Mm -hmm. Lovely and tender, lovely and soft. Mm -hmm. Need something like this back at home. I would have one of these. Well, the chicken kebab I would have every weekend. Yeah, I mean we've got a million takeaways around where we live, and it is so hard to find somewhere that does a lovely special kebab. You do find somewhere sometimes, don't you? And you'll go two or three times and you think you've hit the jackpot. Mm. And then the next time you go, it's a pile of shite. So you find yourself looking for new takeaways all the time. But this, spot on, highly recommended from two locals. Kind of faulted so far. Right, now I'm gonna try some of this. What is it again? Is it beef or is it lamb or whatever? I'm not even sure. Like little bits of steak, that's what we'll say guys. Just little steak. bits of steak. Little ding dang do for this man, dingo. Oh. Oh. Absolutely perfect. You're in food heaven. Mmm. I am. I'm in food heaven. Look at that guys. You know what it's like with bits of steak. They can get ruined so easy. It can be as tough as an old boot. But that. Mm. Spot on. Not a steak lover, but I try mm. it. I'm trying to chew more than normal, guys. I always get loads of you absolute legends on here. Come on, Mandingo. You need to chew your food a bit more. But I. Really I, soft, really tender. I'm not going to give you that anything, Dave. I couldn't lift you up. <laughs> so you're not good, but you're. Oh, mm. tremendous, tremendous. Pardon me. That's beautiful, that. Mm -hmm. Just melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Really soft. That's lamb, not beef. Lamb, well, there you go. Well, I wasn't sure, that's why I said like little bits of steak. But I. Well, that's nice lamb, that. Mm hmm Wow. I can see why that place is a hit with the locals, guys. Top notch, isn't it? Really, really nice. Mm hmm Must be you taking all that lamb. Oh, the garlic bread looked a bit iffy, but it was nice, you know, your standard garlic bread, a slice of pizza I had. Absolutely spot on. Chicken and the lamb. Hmm. Cooked to perfection. Nice fresh box of salad. Cold slot. I don't like cold slot. Mrs. Blood does. So she'll tell you what she thinks of that. The chilli sauce. Perfect. Just the way I like it. The garlic, you know, your standard garlic. No problem. And the loaded fries. Unbelievable. Probably one of the best portions of loaded fries I've ever had. The beer, perfect the Mondo Mandingos, as they say, in the southeastern region of Mongolia. You better believe they do. The water's perfect. <laughs> Aye. Mm. So, the last thing I need to try, and I say this over and over again, I'm not a lover of kebab meat, and people say, to someone that's not a lover of kebab meat, you always seem to eat it, Mr. Blot. I don't actually eat it very much, just I seem to end up getting it on my videos, you know. I don't normally eat it in the house as such, you know, as a, as a regular takeaway. But it's came with this mixed kebab, so we'll give it a go. And like I've said before, for me, I'm never ever going to say kebab, mate. It's beautiful. It's either going to be okay, shite, or dog shite. Yeah, and that's okay. <laughs> no wrong with it. No wrong with that at all, guys. Standard kebab, mate. They're probably all buy from pretty much the same place. So if it's cooked right and kept fresh, they're all going to taste pretty much the same, and they're going to be okay. 
Mm -hmm. One piece of chicken left. I best kick that for me son, little blot who's going upstairs. I'm lucky with the other. Mm -hmm. Well, anything left to try? No, I think you've had a dog. I think we've tried pretty much everything. A little bit more kebab meat there. Yeah, no, a bit more. I don't make as they say. And I'm going to have done a mate and loaded fries together with a bit chilli. It's nice when it's hot but when it goes cold, mm. it's not that nice is it? And a bit garlic. Well guys, we're going to wrap this up. It's been really, really nice. I'm glad I asked the locals where to go because there was a few takeaways down there in Egremont. We didn't know if we were going to go for Chinese or Indians. There was about three or four different pizza shops. You know, like pizza shops, kebabs. No, but we normally go on the wrong one, don't we? Mm. Every single time yeah. we're If there's two, and there's one nice one and one bad one, you can guarantee we'll pick the bad one. So, hmm, we're happy with getting the good one this time. That's it. I'm going to give my score, Mrs. Blood. Good morning. And I'm going to give it a big, fat, juicy, <clears throat> 9.3 out of 10 dingo mandingos. Fantastic score. Not the greatest, greatest takeaway I've ever had, but better than most takeaways I've had. Can't fault it. Can't fault at all, guys. 9.3. What's your score, Mrs. Blood? Mmm. I would say 8.9. 8.9. Only because the garlic bread is a bit burnt. I know it was nice and soft, but. Half for a Yeah, and on appearance when you opened it up, yeah. it didn't look the greatest. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, oh, Mrs. Blood, are you? <laughs> Mrs. Blood's dropping our guts. I think we need to end this review now while you go and change your underpants. <laughs> and when we bring you back, <laughs> we're going to do. <laughs> when we bring you back, we're going to do the draw for the prizes and then we'll do a review. See you in, in a, a minute. Win it. Right, it goes. For there. <laughs> Dog on you, yeah. You good dog. Oh, your breath smells cute. <laughs> well, guys, like I said in last week's Friday night video with little Schmickeroonie, we're going to do a draw. We've got three prizes in these boxes here, and I've had a massive response to it. There's like nearly a thousand people with the names in the hat. Old school style guys, nothing flash here on the Blood Outdoor Show. All the names in my <coughs> old hat. Dennis. <laughs> Dennis. It is. Dennis the Pogue. Coffin there. You alright, son? Good dog. Yes. So we've got, we've got all the names in the hat there. To add a bit of glamour to the channel, guys, the beautiful Mrs. Blotsky is going to draw three names out the hat. For your three winners of the old prize dingoes, man dingoes. Oh yes, you know what I'm talking about. Well, there's not much room in the hat. Shake it. I'll try and shake it as good as I can. But we'll get Mrs. Block to get that hand deep inside. Have a good reach around. She likes a good reach around. Oh, my friend. Right, while you're doing that, I'll show the, the first prize. So. Oh. Like I said, not very professional guys. <laughs> you know the score. So the first prize is this lovely Blot Outdoors. It's like a coffee mug. And there's also a little schmick with rights wrote on it. Bottle opener. Some stickers. World famous Waski with you. Little schmick there with his clown costume on. What else? Oh, my ugly face. Ah. Oh. There you go, guys. Not the best prizes you'll ever get, but it's better than a kick in the... C I'll not say that word. It's better than a kick in the ghoulies, Mrs. Yeah. Blot. There you go. Right, that's the draw for the first one. We have Luke McCrohon. Oh, how do you pronounce that? Mark Crohon. <laughs> Reading 
is not my greatest thing guys but there you can see there's the name for the winner of that prize luke mccrohan <laughs> yeah i'll write your name on the prize luke <laughs> oh. There you go. Luke, there you go, my man friend. I will get in touch with you very soon and we will sort out your delivery address for that, my man friend Dingo. Once you can pronounce his name right. Have a good reach okay. around again, Mrs. Blot. And I'll show you the next prize, guys. Like, you know when I do the world famous Waski reviews? Like that guys, but this has rough and smooth at the same time on the old whiskey mug. Let's have a look, see what's inside. My ugly mug again. Ah, oh. and some more stickers. Serious stealth coming and rough and smooth at the same time. You know it makes sense. Right. Get that in there. Have you drawn one out, Mrs. Blot? Yeah. Let's have a look and see who the lucky winner is. Of these unbelievable. God, I can't even shut that. <laughs> Kev Payne. Some people say he's a pain in the arse, but tonight he's the lucky winner. Kev Payne. There you go, my man friend. That is the winner of the second prize. Let's get his name wrote on there. Kev. Pain in the arse. I mean, Kev Pain. That's Sorry. what you are. There you go. But well, that's two lads of one. Let's see if we can draw a woman out. A woman friend dingo for the next one. Come on. But, you know, whoever gets drawn, gets drawn. Have a good reach around again, Mrs. Blot. The old reach around ski. And we'll show what the, the last prize is. Once again, it's another like a... Another whiskey cup type thing that I have with you know makes sense <laughs> rights. He's a good dog, aren't you? Come He's on. a good dog. Oh, little Messi's here. Messi's sitting nice and calm. And Dennis, the crazy pug dingo, is going ape shit. Good dogs. How are they? What's inside? Bottle opener, blot outdoors. And a couple more stickers, blot outdoors. Stealth camping. Oh, the price is the top quality, isn't it? It's worse than bullseye. Little schmick. Right. There you go, guys. Let's get that pop in there. Have you drawn the final one, Mrs. Blotsky? Let's have a look. Oh, it's another gadgie. <laughs> it's another gadgie. Sorry, ladies. Three men drawn out. That's probably because there's like 95% of the people that's entered a blokes. So, yeah. There was always a massive chance there was going to be more men than women. Chris Gooch. Err, Gooch. There you go. Chris Gooch is the third and final winner. Get that wrote on there. There we go, guys. That's well our done. three winners. Luke McRon, whatever his name is, Kev Payne, and Chris Gooch. That's the three winners of these Blood Outdoor Show prizes. Nice. Shall we do one more quick one? Just This is just off the thingy. I've literally just put this T-shirt on, guys, so I haven't even had a chance to sweat in it. Get this T-shirt on. Oh, right then. Why not? Same one more draw for this T-shirt. I've literally just took this out of the pattern, guys. It's still got the lines down where it's been folded. You don't mind a bit. Brought you outdoors, out. man sweat, do you? you? get one out. There you go. <laughs> you get one. one more draw for this t-shirt. It's in XL, guys. Slim, <laughs> slim fit. One. Dennis has picked that Dennis one. Dennis has picked this one. Right. Totally unplanned, this man thing was. I've just come out with this, so. For this t-shirt, it's another bloke. I was hoping to <laughs> try and even things out a little bit with a, with a woman, but that's just the way it goes, man thing goes. Jerry Addison. There you go. Well, for the t-shirt. 
with my B on it. <laughs> and it stinks. Cheeky. There you go. Jerry Addison. That's it. Four prizes. I'll get in touch with you as soon as I can. We've got another couple of days of our holiday left. So once we're back home, I'll go through the comments. I'll reply to you, you know, from the comment that you've made on the video I've done with Little Mick when we first spoke about doing this prize draw. Yes, and we'll try and sort out some del delivery dresses. That's what I'm trying to say, Mrs. Blot. There you go. Right, I'm going to chill out now, guys, and I'm going to have a couple of beers. When I bring it back, me and Mrs. Blot are going to do a world-famous Waski with you. Oh, yes. You know what makes absolute total sense. Right. Oh man, get off me hat. <laughs> Oh yes, man, dingoes, you know what time it is, waski time, and this is what we've got this week, Johnny Walker, A Song of Ice, it's like a special edition waski, it's a £70 bottle of waski, which has been kindly given to me from a legend by the name of Ian, who also goes by the name of Kitchen Sink, He's a big fan of the Block Outdoor Show, so cheers Ian, my man friend, it is very much appreciated. You better believe it is, man, then go. Johnny Walker, Song of Ice. Well, let's get this popped in. The old famous cup, Dingo. Man, Dingo. Oh, yes. There we go. Let's leave that there in shot. In the old shot, Dingo, as they say in the south eastern region of Mongolia. You better believe they do, Mrs. Blot. I'll have the first sniff. Go for it. The first sniff, Aruni. Oh, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. crisp and intense straight away. With obvious vanilla and caramel. That is so common with Waskies, guys, but that is very obvious for me. Mrs. Blot isn't, you know, into the waskies like I am. In fact, she doesn't even drink. Do you? Likes a fag. <whistles> but she doesn't drink. Yeah, I'm getting a very obvious vanilla and caramel. Toffee for me. Well, yeah. Like mm -hmm. the, the toffee and the caramel thing. Toffee very apple. Very similar. Toffee apple. Mm-hmm. <whistles> Anything else? I'm just going to dog him, Why are you some lyrical genius? <laughs> I'm got big beak like you. The smell of wet dog. Yeah. In the old famous Gub <laughs> Dingo, man dingoes. No, I'll just get toffee. Like toffee, uh -huh. like toffee. Oh, not wrong with that. Let's have another sniffer only, guys. I'm getting some hints of fruit, but nothing's jumping out there, you know. Sometimes I see apple and pears. I'm getting like a fruity element about it, but nothing too obvious. Anyway, Mrs. Blot, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with it, tasting. Right. To right, you care. Mmm. Mmm. Now, straight away, see, I was struggling there to pick out a certain type of fruit, but in the taste, straight away, it hit me, a tropical, Fruit taste going on there. What are you getting, Mr. Blot, with a sexy bot? Ah. It's got a bit of a kick, hasn't it? Ooh. She should be used to the whiskey, you know. Over this last week, Mrs. Blot has drank more whiskey than me. She's had terrible toothache, haven't you? Mm -hmm. She's been crying, agony. And she's been all my whiskeys that I've got. You know, I always say I've got loads of waskies that you absolute legends send me to do the reviews. She's been having a little taste out of them all and swishing it round a tusk to try and kill the pain of the toothache. It hasn't really worked, has it? She's still been agony, but she's on antibiotics now. She shouldn't even be drinking, but a little cheeky waski review isn't going to do no harm, guys. I think I taste nuts. Nuts? Oh, She's fond of a few nuts in her mouth. <laughs> 
You better believe she is manding buzz. <laughs> Nuts. A nutty like taste. A hazelnut. 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 That's original. <laughs> oh, expert. Then you tell me what you can taste. Yeah. Well. Can you taste it? No, but you were saying like a toffee apple. I am getting like a toffee taste. Mm hmm and people go laughing at whenever I say this, people laugh. But I'm getting like a nice floral thing about it, you know, a nice floral taste. I know that sounds silly, but get your whiskies, guys. Try them, try a few, and you will see these different flavors. Avoid the shite like Bells and Famous Grouse, and get some nice stuff. That is out my price range, seventy pound for a bottle of whiskey. So once again. Cheese eating mate. But I definitely some toffee and some some floral notes going on there guys. Hello Dennis son. Just yes, my is that. Why are you good looking? Like good quality. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you. Sell us your breath. <laughs> Why are the new face of Colgate? <laughs> anyway, let's have another tasting one man dingo. This is going off track now, like, you know, yeah, it is. <laughs> typical blood outdoor show, guys. Uh, oh. mm. See, now, in the aftertaste there, I'm, I'm getting used to it. It's now quite smooth and also sweet at the same time. Yeah, there's a nice sweetness to it. It's going down nice and smooth. For me, because I'm used to whiskey, it's not rough and it's got a lovely, like, long lasting flavour. And the old mouth dingo man dingoes is the same they do, don't ski. It's not just like a quick taste and, and the flavour goes away quick. That flavour, it's hanging around in the mouth quite a while. Sweet and smooth. You exactly. Know the Sweet and smooth at the same time. It's a rough. Ooh. Licicles. Anything else, Mrs. Blot? Oh, it's nice, nice whiskey, isn't it? It's, it's, it's quality, it's absolute oh, really good quality. quality drop. You had enough? Mm -hmm. Down the old hash stickles. Sweet. Mm. Well, time for the old score, dingoes, man, dingoes. I'm going to give it a very, very brilliant, fantastic score of 9.5. Four, yes, nine point four. That is quality. It's only a blended whisky. Now this shuts a lot of people up, who say blended whisky is a shite. You've got to have a single malt. You clearly haven't got a clue what you're talking about. I've had single malt whiskies that have been terrible, and I've had blended whiskies that have been absolutely fantastic. And that is an absolutely fantastic blended whisky. So yes, I'm going to give that. Johnny Walker, a song of lice, blended scotch, whisky, a big fat juicy, 9.4 out of 10 dingo, man dingoes. Oh yes, you better believe it. Mrs. Bloss, what's your score? I'll give it a 9, but I'm not expert, but it may taste like a good whisky. 9? Nine, 9. Is a fantastic score dingo. Well guys, that's it. That's the end of this week's Waski with you. You know what I'm talking about. This is serious Waski Tearson. From me and Dennis Wright. Oh. Metering. Well, that is also the end of this week's video, guys. Well, not quite. Not quite. I've also got some bloopers to show you right at the very end of the video after we say good night, Vienna. Apologies in advance for the bad language. You know when I make the videos, there's nothing like set up. I make a mistake and I go, oh, fuck, or whatever I say. Do you know what I mean? So, yes. Thank you for watching, guys. Please join me on Sunday night for my next epic stealth camp in a graveyard. Oh, oh yes. You better believe it. One more thing, Mr. Blot. Oh, the merch. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't like to bang about it too much. I've been banging out about loads, haven't I? <laughs> Check out the merch. Oh, matron. <laughs> Blood Outdoors t-shirt, look at that, you know it makes sense, and there's loads more designs guys, there's loads more designs, hoodies, t-shirts, 
women's vests, kids' hoodies, t shirts, sweaters, long sleeve t shirts. Not this, but the, the mugs with the names on. And what else? Coffee mugs. There's all sorts. There's all Stop sorts. There the you website. go. There's all sorts. I'll leave a link, guys, in the description of this video for the merch. Buy something for yourself or somebody for Christmas. You better believe it. That's it. Right. right. See you later. See you on Sunday for the next Telcom video. And enjoy the bloopers. Hasta la vita, baby. Hasta la vita, baby. <laughs> Hasta la vita, baby. Why are you some lyrical genius? <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. Right. Right. Oh, animation. How are you? Okay, then, my fansexuals. We're just making our way down this public footpath, which was at the fucking start again. Oh, oh yes, Mandingos. You know what time it is. Waski time. Two rights. What have we got, Mick? Glen Faddick. Glen Faddick. Glen Fiddick. Firing Kian. Yeah. Let's start again. Just get past this or fuck off. That's shit. Okay then, my fansexuals. I'm gonna try this. Can't go. <clears throat> oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, oh yes, man, dingoes. It's 11 o'clock and the temperature has dropped. It's proper cold now. A few little chest warmers is helping me get through this night. You better believe they are. That's fucking shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Start again. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show guys, yes, I'm back out on another epic stealth camp and like I've just said, it's Tuesday night and I've got work first thing in the morning. I normally do my camps on a Saturday night and get the video, fuck off. Welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show guys, yes, it's another stealth camp, fuck off. Concentrating on this fucking road. Stood in fucking shit, I think. <laughs> so, welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. Yes, it's another epic stealth camp we're going out on, guys. Ah, oh, fuck off. Fucking shite. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, nice hot Jurgen Klofsky. Ah, ah, it's starting to get that time of year now where you don't just want to be fucking hell. <laughs> get your words out, Chris. <laughs> Start again. Good morning, Mandingos. Five past ten. No, ten past ten. We hey, fuck off. Oh, yes, Mick. Looking forward to a nice takeaway, mate. Oh, yes. Two right little dingo makes a change from the zero and one stars. Then I don't I know uh, <laughs> I can't get me fucking words out. That's it guys, we've got the food. Mick's got the door uh, fucking hell. Okay then guys, nearly time for the world famous Waski with you. But before we do that, I've got some little gifts to give away, you know like a little prize draw. 
given to me from the merch company merchbitch.com so we're going to do a little draw I can't even fucking think of what to say here oh, oh yes mandingos you know what time it is waski time and this is what we've got this time guys John Lee straight bourbon old reserve product of the good old US of ear. Before we do the Waski review, I just want to quickly say 